in November 1971. At Isi Detention Cell, Karachi, a man is being given the third degree of torture. The movie then goes nine months back. Uddharan, in 1971, Shrikant Rai, the chief of the raw recruits Rahmatullah Ali A. K. A. Romeo, a banker, after he manages to foil a bank robbery staged by the raw agents to test his skills for espionage. In Pakistan, after training in combat and covert communication techniques, he departs to Pakistan. Uddharan, in Pakistan, he becomes Akbar Malik, and in his operations is helped by Joker and Mudassar. Pakistani locals helping raw. Planned circumstances bring him closer to the target Iska Fridi. Anil George, whose trust in him strengthens when Akbar not only assures him of his hatred towards India but also saves him from an attack conducted by the henchmen of Nawab Afridi. Akbar informs Roar about a planned attack on Badlipur that would claim innocent lives, both in India and East Pakistan. However, Relations between Afridi and Akbar also intensify, due to which he refuses to betray him when Nawab approaches him with an offer to work for him. However, while leaving the rendezvous, Nawab forgets an envelope and asks Akbar to deliver it to the described room number. He is surprised to find his girlfriend Shridha Sharma there and exclaims, You! In disbelief. She gestures him to keep quiet and opens up a telephone receiver to show a spy transmitter inside it. Proving that her room was bugged. She reveals that she, too was working for the Roar and was sent there because Akbar wanted someone close to be sent for him. Uddharan. In the meanwhile, Colonel Khan's suspicion grows on Akbar. Whom he arrests, interrogates and tortures when he isn't able to extract any information. He is forced to free due to Akbar being a Freedy's right hand. However, Akbar's cover soon gets blown, resulting in a chase between him and the colonel. Akbar manages to escape and arrives at home to find Mudas sir telling him to escape. Akbar explains that there's no way to escape, due to which Mudas sir agrees and goes to prepare tea for him. While waiting, Akbar suspects someone's presence. Hearing a gun clock, he takes out the gun given to him by Mudas sir for emergencies and shoots the person, only to realize it was no one else but Mudas sir. Weeping but also remembering the latter's words warning him not to get entangled in relations. He escapes from the scene and the next day, disguised as an army captain, contacts Shri Khan for help. The latter declines, telling him that he's not acting like an Indian anymore. In the meanwhile, Shraddha and some other raw agents are arrested while Joker commits suicide. Akbar then meets the army officer who interrogated him and his senior. Revealing the truth, he decides to conduct the attacks on Badlipur himself as a form of revenge on the raw. Accompanied by Colonel Khan to avoid any sort of double crossing. Akbar shocks him by bombing the entire village in a series of explosions, thus confirming his loyalty to Pakistan. As a result, the Indo-Pakistani war breaks out. Akbar, now a Pakistani officer called Walter Khan, meets Shri Khan and Avasti in Nepal after 10 years. He departs after exchanging a few words and congratulating Avasti for his impending promotion. Leaving the latter surprise, Shri Khan then reveals that Walt is still working undercover for India and how the latter's siding with Pakistan was all part of the plan. The bombing didn't cause any deaths as the villagers, as under the pretext of warning about bad weather conditions, they were moved out 24 hours before it took place. Shri Khan also reveals Walter's loyalty towards work was the only reason he couldn't turn up even at his mother's funeral. The film ends with a shot of Walter saluting the Indian flag with tears in his eyes.